Hello everyone, in front of me is a fresh addition to our new inventory here at Hoffman Ford. This is a new 2022 Ford Bronco Sport Outer Banks. This Bronco Sport is available for sale right now here at Hoffman Ford. So today I'm gonna to take you on a quick tour of this vehicle to show you how it's equipped. Starting off, this is the Outer Banks trim level of the Ford Bronco Sport. So it is towards the upper end of the trim tier list as far as that is concerned, just below the Badlands trim levels. This is more of a luxury oriented Bronco Sport, if you will. The exterior paint color is bronze smoke. It is this nice brown metallic color and it goes very nicely with the interior color that we'll get to in just a second. Comes equipped with four wheel drive and a 1.5 liter four cylinder engine. Let's quickly take a look here in the front end of the Bronco Sport. We have Bronco in white lettering across the front. We have a nice daytime running LED that is this little light over here and then around the headlight itself. And then down below that, we also have fog lamps. And over here on the Outer Banks model, we do not have any tow hooks or front facing parking sensors. Coming along around to the side now, we have a set of 18 inch black painted machine face aluminum wheels. And then we have our Outer Banks badge here on the driver door. Our mirror caps are just black plastic, so not body colored. And then with the Outer Banks, you do get a black painted roof. It goes nice and with the contrast of that bronze smoke over here with that black roof really nice over here with our door handles they are a proximity door handle and they are body colored as well so you keep the key in your pocket and then slip your hand through the door handle to unlock and then tap those lines over here to lock the vehicle you can also unlock and lock by using the wireless or it's not no wireless the keypad over here on the door itself um, they do light up once you tap on the actual panel over here and you can lock and unlock that vehicle using that feature inside over here on the door panel we have our power windows locks and mirror controls and this vehicle also has the B&O audio system over here to the left hand side of our steering wheel we have our light controls and then a button to open up the rear hatch it is not a powered hatch you still have to go in around the back and then lift it up but that will open it up and then here's a look at our seats. They are nice brown and black onyx with some heathered gray cloth on the seat back and then on the sides. It was really nice com when combined with this bronze smoke. So a little brown on brown and then we have black and gray. So all the colors mesh together real nice as far as the exterior and interior. And then the driver's seat is a power adjustable seat. Coming around inside the vehicle. Over here on the steering wheel to start, we have our cruise control options and then volume adjustment over here on the lower portion of the side of the steering wheel. This is a standard cruise control system, so not adaptive cruise control. Over here on the right-hand side, you have a menu, okay, and back. That will correspond with your productivity screen there in the center. Then you have a voice assistant, phone, answer, and hang up, and then skip forward and backward if you have a radio playing you can skip between the presets or if you have a, an audio source playing and you want to skip back and forth between songs you can do that as well the vehicle does have lane keep assist and you can activate it by pressing that little button on the end of your turn signal stock and then on the right hand side your windshield wiper controls are over here you actually have a back wiper here on the bronco sport and you can toggle that on and off by using the little switch over there at the end with our gauge cluster this is pretty much the same gauge cluster that's in the Ford Escape, the Ford Maverick, and then in the Ford Bronco Sport, they all share the same platform. So the gauge is basically the same thing that you would get in those products. So you have an analog tachometer and then speedometer, and then a productivity screen here in the center, which is configurable. So you can change what is displayed here in the productivity screen as far as the trip computer, fuel economy, and then tire pressure. Um, any other warnings will come up here as well, just like that, the 25 miles still empty here. And then down below this, we have your gear indicator. Over here in the center, we have an eight inch SYNC 3 infotainment screen. This does have a backup camera with guidelines. And then it does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, no navigation on the factory unit itself, but you can get that by using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto if you so choose. Down below that, we have our volume and tune knob, push button start. You have a small rubberized cubby over here. You can store a phone wallet keys you can put that up here if you wanted to it won't rattle around 
Down below this, we have our dual zone automatic climate control, heated seats on both sides, and a heated steering wheel. Um, I like the way that these buttons are laid out, especially because everything is hard press buttons. So there's no going into different menus depending on what button you press. Um, a couple of other Ford products have that option where there's one button for maybe the fans, fan direction and it will come up on the screen and then you can pick the direction. But this is nice to have just a button you can quickly press to cycle between them. Down below this, we have another rubberized area with a wireless charging pad and then charge ports. So you have USB type C, type A, and then a 12 volt outlet. Here's our rotary gear dial. You have an electronic parking brake and then auto hold. And then here's your goat modes or drive modes, if you will. And then if you turn that dial, it will cycle between the drive modes that are available on the vehicle. You have two cup holders up here in the front and then a brown padded armrest. And then here's a look inside. There are more charge ports. So USB type C and then type A over here inside. And then just above the screen here on the dash, there's another look at that b &O audio system. And then last thing I wanna note here in the front is that you do have a garage door opener that you can program if you do have a garage door that you need to open or a gate that you need to open to get into your house or into the area where your house is. And then this vehicle does not have a moonroof, so just a standard roof over here. Let's check out the back. Back seat, same color pattern and design. Have a fold down center armrest with two cup holders. And then one thing I, I do like about the Bronco Sport that they wish they would incorporate this into a couple of more products is that there is a little pocket back here, a zippered pocket that you can store things in. And there are these little Molly grids that you can go and then hook a carabiner to or anything else that you want to just hook back here. Maybe if you wanted like a first aid kit, you can do that as well and store it there, which is a nice feature to have. Gives you the ability to customize this space a little bit more and use it. And then back here we have two climate control vents and then a household three prong outlet. This is a 110 volt. And then back here you have another USB type C and then type A. So plenty of charge ports available on this Bronco Sport. Coming around to the back, Bronco Sport in white lettering across the back. You have a trailer hitch back here, rear parking sensors. And then over here on the lower portion of the lift gate itself, you have an option for the glass or the door. So if you press the button for the glass, the glass will flip open, sort of like the older Explorers would or older Escapes would. And then if you tap on the door, that will open up the lift gate. And back here, definitely a, a usable space, if you will. So this is a rubberized panel that you have back here. There is a table that you can fold out so right now it's just going to occupy the cargo area, but you can slide it out to where those little feet that you see underneath will rest over here. So you can use it if you're camping, tailgating, you can slide it out and have a, a basically the table goes to the end of the vehicle itself. So you'd be able to use that. You have some little hooks that you can hook shopping bags to so they don't roll around. There is a little light over here with a Bronco emblem. 12 volt outlet on the right hand side and then this button over here will turn on the lights and there are lights on the underside of that lift gate they are directional too so if you do want to change the direction of that light if you need more light in one direction or another you can do that as well that is just about it for this brand new 2022 ford bronco sport outer banks if you have any questions about this vehicle if you'd like to stop by and take it for a test drive today stop by our showroom at 5200 jonestown road here in harrisburg shop online at hoffmanford.com or give us a call at 717-657-1600 thank you